Hey, Shalom Markins, we call Makapashim Jimmy's Lana, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Vachachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful elect, Krishna is true and all sincerity. Now, back here with another video. I was going to uh, call this one, uh, which is which is Gone Burn, right? I may, I may still call it that, I don't know yet, but, um, you know, as I was going through the scriptures, um, the scriptures Acts eight and nine, you know, kind of want to call it something else, but um, you know, pertaining to um, you know, Nathaniel's latest antics, you know, man's turned to the dark side for real, for real, right? Man's blacker than black, <laughs> right? He's he's in getting in touch with his inner darkness, darkness says, <laughs> right? Um. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, us brothers, man. You know, we we already know, in it. Okay, we know the, the kind of character and kind of do we're dealing with, man. You know, we feel in the spirit, this man sold out, and you know, doing all kinds of craziness, man. And, and this is why, you know, he doesn't teach in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, even though he knows those names. He doesn't teach in them. Okay, he's removed that really from from his doctrine. Uh, like the apostles say, the only time he brings um, the name of is in jest, you know. So you know something definitely ain't right there. And you know everything that he does and everything that he shows himself to be, you know, he, he just you know he's a witch, he's a warlock, a sorcerer, you know, doing all these types of things, man. And, and that's why I was gonna name it "Witches Gone Burn," because if he, <laughs> he he teaching that hell doctrine, if he, if he, <laughs> if, he <laughs> if he truly believes in it, man, that's that's what he gonna be at. That's where he's gonna be at, man. <laughs> but he's gonna he he's gonna have his part in the lake of fire, right? He's gonna have his part in the lake of fire, man. You know, lest he repent. And the elders and apostles always talk about, you know, the, the you know the, the dreams surrounding him, and you know whether he repent and all that kind of stuff. We, you know, we just have to wait and see, man. But right now, he he on he on right on track to um, you know, uh, uh, backstroking in the lake of fire. All right, so that's why I was going to call this, uh, which is gone burn. But you know, and I think I'm going to start off with this now. Right, I'm going to get the witch scriptures afterwards. But um, you know, I picked picked up here on on uh, Acts chapter eight. You know, with a certain man called Simon. Right, as it, as it opens up, right in verse nine, right, and uh, I was reading this thinking, yeah. You know, this is Nate, <laughs> a certain man called Simon. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it, and um, you know, we'll witness uh, lessons are defined. Anyway, Acts chapter nine, uh, eight, verse nine. So, but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery, and bewitched the people of Samaria. Okay, Nathaniel has bewitched his congregation, man, and continues to do so, leading them astray. Okay, with, with, with his BS and his, you know, his BS doctrine. All right. So they brought the people of Samaria, given out that he, that him, sorry, given out that himself was some great one. They parading it around like the second coming, man. <laughs> you know, man on a high horse, man, uh, man uh, doing superhero, <laughs> you know, animations, <laughs> doing all kinds of things, man, you know. They, high, they, they hold him in high esteem, man, and he loves it, man. He loves the adoration. Right? When I come rolling through on the horse and, you know, all that stuff. Right? And he loves it. Okay? And they revere him as some great one. I think, if I remember correctly, the man was trying to say that he was like a, a Elijah. You know? When he wasn't the one that brought the, 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 the children unto the fathers, man. Okay, that was uh, high, uh, Abba Bivens, the old high priest, Abba Bivens, whatever title he had, you know, but Abba Bivens was the one that did that, you know, not Nathaniel, okay, he, he, he's an understudy of those great men that came before him, okay, 
he is not the origin, you know, the, the originator of, of that, and and he ain't got the names, you know, he doesn't, he's not even teaching the truth, so he's not he's not Elijah, right? But anyway, you know, so they make him out to be some sort of great one, right? Twelve, tri twelve tribes world, right, right. So verse ten says, "To whom they all gave heed, the people, the congregation, right, everything that he says, they will do, you know, what they believe, right." For the least to the greatest, saying, "This man is the great power of God," and to him they had they had regard because that of because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorceries, right? And like I said, this 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 is the situation, or, or you know, that's that's there currently, right, underneath his his command, right? But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, right? It, it may be that he comes round, you know, but the congregate, you know, members of his congregation, you know, they be elect among them, they're going to come round, right? They're going to believe in the truth, okay, i.e. what Philip was teaching, right? They're not going to be listening to his garbage anymore, right? And the family was extremely stubborn, right? But maybe, maybe he does come round, I don't know, Right? But he says, then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only, that, uh, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Then laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that, saw that through laying on, laying on of the ha apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered them money, right? And Nate's got a lot of money, man. So <laughs> he's he's in a position to do this. Who knows, right? But you know, us men and the men that we teach, okay, they get filled with the Spirit, man. Okay, they believe and do this work and. You know, it's gonna come a, come a time where, you know, brothers gonna get spiritual powers and and, you know, and all these kinds of things, and it's gonna turn a lot of heads, and it's gonna turn a lot of people, right, in, into believers. Okay, of, of this ministry of ours, man. Right, there's gonna be a lot of people leaving these congregations. Right, and I said Nathaniel might be one of them, and then Nathaniel might be like pleading, please, please, <laughs> give me, give me what you got, you know, but he's gonna try and buy it off us, man. Like his money means something, man. And this is the thing, like he's he's out here trying to make us like we're poor, dirt poor, broke, with bums, you know, living on sofas and that, because he's so high and mighty, cause what, cause what? Because he's got money. Your money don't mean shit. My dude. <laughs> it don't mean shit. Your money ain't worth shit out here. Right? But you know, you think you know, you're high and mighty because you you know you're um financially adequate, <laughs> you know, to put it, right? Your money ain't gonna mean shit, man. Right, this is about the spirit, this is about the truth. Okay, and as long as we we, ha we we hold this, right, there's no treasure upon earth that's greater than this. No money, no nothing that's greater than this, what we have. Okay, we're not the poor. <laughs> we're not the poor ones, even though we be poor. We're not the poor ones, man. Okay, you're the fucking broke ones. Right, you're the broke. Okay, you're spiritually broke. Bankrupt. Right, we got all that we need. Okay, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we got all, all that we need. Right? You can have however many however, you know, however many millions that you got, and you can be proud about it. Well, you can you can have all that, man. Like I said, in the end, it ain't gonna mean shit, man. And you're gonna be, you know, wanting what we got. Alright? But you ain't gonna have to buy it. Um so yeah, he offered them money. Verse 19 says, saying, Give me also this power that on whomsoever I lay hands he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. Perish with thee. You're going to die with you, man. Okay, like I said, we don't know exactly what's going to happen to Nate, man. You know, maybe, maybe you know, the dream, dreams that, you know, were surrounding him may come true. But, you know, some of the, some of the dreams involved in getting beaten, beating the shit out of, man, like a piñata, right? <laughs> some dreams, you know, uh, uh, you know, involving, you know, uh, Repenting, you know, and coming back to the we, we we will just wait, have to wait and see, man. It's interesting to watch, you know. But this guy is so mad, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath, you know. But 
uh, you know, who knows, right? Only the Lord. Um, but yeah, your money, thy money perish with thee because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Yeah, you think your money means shit, man? Thou has neither part nor lot in this matter. You ain't going to get none of this, right? For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. And Nate's heart ain't right. It's not right. It hasn't been right for a long time. Okay, his mind's not fucking right, man. He's got demons on him. You know, evident, evident in, in, in that, in that um, promo, you know, the hand gestures and the black screens and the all black and, you know, all of the, everything. He's got demons on him, man. He's got, you know, he's got plenty, he's got legion on him, man. <laughs> you know, his heart's not right with the Most High. He says, repent therefore of, thy, of this thy wickedness. He's got to repent. Be stubborn. And pray, God, if perhaps the fault of thine heart may be forgiven thee. Right? It's open, isn't it? We have to wait and see. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. He's really bitter. You know? The Lord is really dealing with us, man. And he's struggling. And he's got to come up with all these gimmicks and all these things that start trying to keep his congregation together, man. You know, he's got to keep performing, the, the, you know, these sorceries, these, these, you know, this witchcraft that he that he does. He's got to keep doing it and doing it and doing it, knowing that he ain't really working for the Heavenly Father, man, at all. You know, but he wants to be someone important. Right? <laughs> Things just don't work this way, man. Can't make yourself important. All right? Um... So yeah, so you know, really, it's bitterness, man. Because the Lord is obviously dealing with our and apostles and on down. You know, we have this truth. We've got the breakdowns. Can okay, we understand this, man? And you're just being stubborn. You know. Uh, then Simon then answered Simon and said, "Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me." Right. And, and, you know, we read on doesn't mention that they did <laughs> or not. <laughs> right. So yeah, you know, whatever in it. But you know, we, like with Nate, we just have to wait and see in it. You know, but there, you know, it sounds like someone called Simon, a certain man called Simon. You know. Um. So just you know, just the witch scriptures that I had uh, stacked here. Um, Leviticus twenty verse twenty seven: A man also or woman that have familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They that uh, they shall stone them with stones; their blood shall be upon them. Right, death. Right, and I said Nate was already told, uh, you know, about a dream of his old congregation, um, you know, beating the shit out of him, man, because he was going off, and then, and then they all went to the kingdom of heaven, <laughs> you know. Well, it may be that's what's what's waiting for you, man. But you know, like I said, if you don't turn away, um, you will be fine. You gonna find yourself swimming in that lake of fire, man. Uh, this is from First Samuel chapter five. Sorry, chapter fifteen, verse twenty-three. For rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness, right? He's rebellious and he's stubborn. Okay, is as, as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He have also rejected thee from being king. Okay, addressing Saul, but he being the same way, his character is the same. Okay, he's rejecting the word of the heavenly Father. He doesn't uh, uphold the names. Doesn't defend their names. Doesn't stand stiffy for the names of, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. He doesn't. What, so what does he stand for? Ill God and gains. <laughs> That's what he stands for. Alright. Um, this is Galatians chapter 5. I start from 19. Right? So now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery. Right, and he's got that in the congregation right now that he's having to deal with. Right? But these are, what do you say, works of the flesh. That is not a spiritual group, man. Right? And a leader's not spiritual. And the family's not spiritual, man. You know? That's why these things are happening. Because he lacks understanding, right? Uh, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, viciousness, idolatry, witchcraft, right? It's what you're doing. Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Right, plenty of heresies. Right, MLTB is not the, the RFID. 
uh, the hell doctrine that they teach you now. Um, what else, man? <laughs> you know, whatever kooky doctrine they got, man, they're all heresies, man. All right, it said, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Right, what, what are you going to in inherit? You want to inherit judgment, man. You want to inherit fire. You know? Which eventually will get you back into the kingdom. But, you know, you want to be um, dissolved first. Right? Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So these are all the judgments, man, for um, performing witchcraft and being a witch, a wizard. All right? And I'm going to close it with this. Revelation 21. Uh, let's see. Let's on verse 6. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai, right? I will give unto him that is a first of the, of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers Nate, and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. So if Nate, Nate don't fix up, man, that's where he's going to find himself, man. He's going to find himself in that pit. He's going to find himself in, in the pit, which is America, in hell, which is going to be on fire. Okay? Molten lava and, and, and just death. <laughs> you know, that's where he's going to find himself. You know, and he's been, been warned plenty of times over the years. Plenty and plenty of times, man. But, he, like I said, he's stubborn. And it may, it may, it may be that he comes, comes, comes around at some point. Who knows, but... The way the way he's going on, this is what awaits him. You know, and this is this is the befitting judgment of of a, of, a, of a witch. You know, of a liar. Okay. So you know, I'm gonna end it there. I didn't want to make this a long video, so I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next next one. Okay, so next time, shalom.